What's up YouTube? Welcome back. Today we're taking a trip to Japan. That's right, we are sampling three Japanese snacks from the land of Japan. Here we have shrimp chips flavored with yuzu, whatever that is, and black pepper. This, I believe, is called matcha. It is green tea cream filled biscuit sticks. And this is strawberry gummy candy, all from Japan. We're going to start with what I assume is the safe snack, the strawberry gummies. Up first, as always, will be me. They look, they look good. They smell good. They smell incredible. They, they do smell amazing, don't they? Those are absolutely wonderful. Yeah, they yeah, taste like sweet snacks. They're fantastic. They taste just like strawberry. Yeah, they're like sweet snacks. They are like fruit snacks. Good. They are really good. They're real soft. They don't stick to your teeth. They're delicious. That's a three for three. Japanese strawberry fruit snacks. I don't know what they're called, but they're a product of Japan. Three thumbs up. Yeah. How about yeah, how five thumbs up off me? Yeah. Next I have what I assume is called matcha, which as I said before is green tea cream filled biscuit sticks. So it sounds like one of those wafer cookie things that we eat here. It's even packaged just like it. Now I don't really like green tea a whole lot. It smell like smells it. pretty good though. It smells... They smell a little good. It smells delicious actually. Yeah, it actually does. William? Yeah, I like these good. Yeah. It's crispy. Not bad, it's like an unsalted pretzel with just a hint of the green tea cream. You can taste the tea, which I don't really care for, but they're not bad. Not bad at all. Sean, get your big bite there, buddy. It's not bad. It's not too bad at all. What do you think, Liam? I bet you taste good. home and eat them. Yeah. There you have it. And now on to the dreaded baked shrimp chips. Oh. They are flavored with yuzu and black pepper. I'm going to assume yuzu means lemon, Ew. because lemon and pepper would make sense on shrimp, but I don't know, and I'm going to be the first to bite the bullet on this one, <laughs> assuming I can get the bag open, <laughs> which is proving to be quite difficult. <laughs> they smell, <laughs> they smell like old fish. <laughs> they smell like if you've ever been to a seafood counter and they're clo just closing it down for the night that's what it smells like It's a real light, 
mild old shrimp taste. They're not too terrible. Um, I don't think I'd spend the dollar forty nine on these again, though. But they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. They were crispy. They're like a they're like a stale cheese puff. And <laughs> there you go, Sean. Liam, get your big bite there, bud. This is awful. Take you a great big giant bite. The aftertaste is definitely not very good. It's spicy. I don't know that it's too spicy, but <laughs> apparently he doesn't like it. So there you have it, our tour of Japan. Sean, would you go back to Japan? Yes. I'd go back to Japan too. Not bad at all. Liam, would you go back to Japan? Can I go back to sis? You are. There you have it. What was your favorite? Um, my dad and dad. Yeah, my favorite was obviously the, the gummies also. Yeah. My second favorite was that though. Yeah. And the yeah. shrimp chips. I wish. I wish you could smell this. It really smells like catfish meat. That's probably. That's probably the best way to describe it is catfish meat. Yeah, guys. It's not great. Yeah, guys. All right, folks. Yep. There you have it. If you liked what you see here, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Leave your comments down below. If you have anything you'd like to see us try, eat, or do next week, leave it down here, folks. As always, we're Ken Story. So long, YouTube.